Join me as I go through three quick, simple Easter pet safety tips to help keep your pet away from the emergency vet this Easter. Hi, I'm Dr. Alex from Our Pets Health, helping you and your pets live a healthier, happier life. And so my first tip is very simple, to keep your chocolate, keep the sweets, any candy, out of reach, locked away in places where your pet can't get them. All too often when I'm on duty over the Easter break or around Christmas as well, I get emergency calls from clients whose dog has found their stash of chocolate and has delightfully tucked into it and eaten it all. Now, chocolate is very dangerous, especially dark chocolate, more so than milk, but a small dog could still quite comfortably eat enough milk to chocolate to be poisonous. So keep all of your chocolate locked away. If you want to learn more about the danger of ch the danger of chocolate and how much your pet might need to eat then check out my related video linked up here and down below in the description. So chocolate's not the only risk though. A lot of the sweets that we eat and even chocolate are uh, described as sugar free or low sugar and they will often have the sugar free sweetener xylitol in there. So xylitol is perhaps one of the most deadly one of the most deadly pet poisons that, that your dog or your cat might come across. It only takes a really tiny amount to be dangerous to them uh, and the poisoning acts really quickly, sometimes within half an hour. So that's another reason to keep all of the sweets and candies away, not just chocolate. Again, if you want to know more about xylitol and how dangerous it can be for your pet, then again, just check the link up here and down in the description. Okay, so being aware of everything with raisins in it is my second Easter pet safety tip. The reason is that raisins can be incredibly deadly for your dog, and this is a dog specific one. So the problem is, is that we don't know exactly what it is in the raisin that causes the the poisoning and some dogs seem to be super susceptible it will only take a handful of raisins whereas other dogs could eat as many raisins as they like and just really not be affected so really just avoid anything with raisins the only way to know for sure would be to feed them to your dog and see what happened which is obviously not something that i would recommend so what raisins do is that they damage the kidneys they knock out the kidneys uh, and if this happens too severely then irreversible kidney damage can take place and no matter what treatment happens it's generally not possible to save these these dogs so avoid everything with raisins in it is my Easter pet safety tip number two if you want to know more about this again check my related video linked up here and down in the description okay so my third and final Easter pet safety tip is to avoid bringing lilies into your house if you own cats so grapes was a dog problem lilies is a cat problem and all members of the Lilium family, so the true lily, are poisonous to cats. Their stems, their leaves, um, and their pollen all contains poisons that will, again, knock out the kidneys, much like grapes. And once a certain amount of damage has been done, this will be deadly to your cat. No amount of treatment will be able to bring them back. So it can take only as little as your cat walking past them, brushing against the, the flowers. Uh, the pollen goes onto their coat, and when they groom it, they then eat this pollen. That is enough to, to knock out their kidneys and to be fatal. So it's really important that as we welcome spring certainly in the northern hemisphere as we welcome spring along we bring flowers into the house and we liven up the house and decorate it for the long weekend that we avoid anything with lilies in it okay so that's just a couple of the dangers that your cat or dog might come across this Easter I hope you all have a fantastic break fantastic long weekend uh, if you're new here consider hitting the subscribe button down below to make sure you don't miss out on future videos all about helping you and your pet to live a healthier happier life my lunch break's just about over so I'm off back to work and until next time I'm Dr Alex from our pets health because they're family <laughs>